Hello, I'm uh, Tony Mesa with Tony Mesa Real Estate School. And uh, what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be looking at uh, property taxes. Property taxes you pay every year to the city, county, and school board. Um, and they're paid on an ongoing basis. So you might have some math problems in the state exam that deal with property tax calculations, right? So the problem here is you have an assessed value of 43,500. It is a homestead. They tell you the person is legally blind and a widow. And they tell you that you have a tax rate of 24.38 mills. Calculate the taxes for the year. Okay, now the, the basic formula is the assessed value minus any exemptions equals the taxable value. And then the taxable value times the tax rate as a decimal number gives you the taxes for the year, all right? So the first thing is we have an assessed value here. We t uh, fact given in the problem, 43000 five hundred dollars right that is the assessed value now we have to subtract from that any exemptions here's what happens the standard base homestead tax exemption is twenty five thousand they have added a second homestead exemption of twenty five thousand that second homestead exemption uh, is only against your city and county taxes not against the school board taxes and that second exemption only kicks in starts to affect you if your assessed value is over fifty thousand and one dollars right so here the assessed value is forty three thousand five hundred that means that the second exemption does not apply so only the standard twenty five thousand dollar exemption applies if somebody is legally blind they receive they receive an additional five hundred dollar exemption and if somebody is an unremarried widow or widower they receive an additional $500 exemption. Understand, this is something the politicians wrote into the books because it sounds nice. You're not saving $500 if you're a widow or if you're legally blind. It's just your assessed value is being reduced by an additional $500 for each one of those things, right? And more than one of them can apply to you as in this case, right? So here, what happens is we've got the $25,000 standard exemption plus another $500 exemption for legally blind, plus another $500 exemption for a widow, and that gives us a total of $26,000 in exemptions, right? So we take $43,500 and we subtract $26,000. That's the total amount of the exemptions there. Again, why does the second exemption of $25,000 not apply? Because that one only starts to apply after you have an assessed value of $50,001. Uh, after that, the second one would apply, but here, you're below that number, so it's only the standard $25,000 base exemption. So if we take the assessed value of $43,500 and we subtract $26,000, then we wind up with a taxable value of $17,500. The taxable value is called the taxable value because this is what you're going to be taxed on, right? So the assessed value is what the county has said the property is worth for tax purposes minus exemptions equals the taxable value. That's what you're gonna be taxed on. And we just take that number and we transfer it down here, right? So 17,500 is the taxable value. Now you have to multiply that by the tax rate to get the taxes for the year. And the question is calculate the tax for the year. Now notice there that I have 24.38 mills, right? Uh, mills, think of the word mills, millennium, a thousand years, millipede, that little critter with a thousand legs. Uh, mills, 1,000, right? So to change a mills number to a decimal number, you need to divide by 1,000, not 100. It's not like when you're changing a percentage number to a decimal number, you divide by 100. To change a mills number to a decimal number, you divide by 1,000, right? And you always need the decimal number to do the math as we've discussed in these videos, right? So here what I do is I take 24.38, and I divide it by 1,000. So 24.38 in my calculator divided by 1,000 gives us 0 0.02438. That is my tax rate as a decimal number. Now, understand, sometimes in a state exam, they'll tell you the city is 5.9 mils, the school board is 6.8 mils. Uh, the city, the county, the school board, they give you the mills separately, in other words, right? So sometimes then all you do there is you add those together, you get your total mills, and then you divide by 1,000, right? Here, they just gave you a total 
of 24.38 mils, right? Um, so you're dividing that by 1,000. So if we take 17,500, the taxable value, times the tax rate as a decimal number. 17,500 times 0 0.02438, that winds up giving you $426.65 as the taxes for the year, right? So there you've calculated the taxes for the year. And that's a common problem that you may see on the state exam. Uh, remember, if somebody is has a standard homestead exemption, the base homestead exemption, that's $25,000. Um, and uh, in, uh, uh, also remember, you gotta remember this for the state exam, legally blind, you're not saving 500 bucks. What happens, you get an additional $500 exemption. Uh, widow, you're not saving 500 bucks, you're getting another $500 exemption, right? So your assessed value is being reduced by another $500 for each one of those things, widow or, and widow and, or widower and legally blind, right? All right, so that is uh, a calculation involving property taxes. Um, you can see us at TonyMesaRealEstateSchool.com. Thank you very much. Everybody have a great day. Bye.